So pride was his downfall, and that pride led to the love of pleasure. He was a man driven by pleasure. I don't think you can look at anybody in Scripture and see anybody more driven by pleasure than Solomon. Everything in his life came down to be one thing, pleasure. He was the hedonist of all hedonists. And hedonism is the belief that life is about pleasure, and that's what he pursued. His wisdom was not a pursuit of God. His wisdom was a pursuit of pleasure. He pursued it with everything that was in him. He gave himself over to it. Gave himself over to it. And then he makes this astounding statement. For with much wisdom comes much sorrow, and the more knowledge, the more grief, and that is true only of worldly wisdom. It is not true of godly wisdom. And so what this man is speaking of here is total worldly wisdom. He gave himself the worldly wisdom, and as he did that, he grew more and more sorrowful. The knowledge he had became more and more painful because he gave himself to the wisdom that he was forbidden to pursue. And so Solomon pursued pleasure through this worldly wisdom. In Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 25, So I turned my mind to understand, to investigate, and to search out wisdom and the scheme of things, and to understand, I like this, I use this all the time in preaching, and to understand the stupidity of wickedness and the madness of folly. Do you understand what that man's saying? I was given wisdom, and I used my wisdom to pursue evil. That's what it is. He's not pursuing righteousness here. He's pursuing the stupidity of wickedness and the madness of folly. God never gave Solomon wisdom for that purpose. That was the perversion of the gift that God gave him, and as he gave himself to worldly wisdom, he went and ruined his life and went deeper and deeper and deeper into it because the wisdom he had now became a trap to him because it was not focused upon God. Terrible. Sad. You see, we were not created to pursue evil. Do you understand? That's what Solomon's doing. He is pursuing evil. He's becoming knowledgeable in the fall. What did Satan say in the garden to Eve? If you have that knowledge of good and evil, you'll be like God. He was bringing to them the idea that you'll have pleasure. It will give you something. You need to pursue this. What is Solomon doing? He's pursuing exactly what Satan was offering Eve in the garden. Terrible. We weren't created to pursue evil. We weren't created to have a knowledge of the insanity and the stupidity of wickedness. We were created to know God. And so Solomon perverted the very gifts that God had given him because he got lifted up in pride.